Hey guys, it is Lou here at Aegis Comics of Alaska, Alaska's comic book shop, and this is episode six. I hope you guys have been doing well. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend up here in Alaska. We had some great weather, a little bit of rain yesterday to help out my lawn. That's my selfish uh, comment of the day. And uh, I hope you guys are doing awesome. We are going to be doing something a little bit different this week uh, with the podcast. We are doing simultaneous audio podcasts and YouTube. So uh, we can uh, grab both audiences because we know, uh, well, hell, I know personally uh, there are some podcasts like the Joe Rogan podcast that I enjoy watching on YouTube while there's others that I enjoy uh, uh, listening to on the drive into Anchorage. Maybe it's the Church of What's Up with a... Uh, Joey Diaz, because it's always good to pee your pants laughing on the drive to work or uh, whatever you're doing. And uh, so anyway, uh, so I'll get right to it. Uh, status of the comic book shop. So we're open uh, Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. I just picked up the order today from the airport. It looks like we received DC Comics, DC Comics, along with a couple of uh, independent titles to include my shop favorite, Red Sonia. Okay, I know that Amy's nowhere around. A shoe didn't hit me. Uh, the hammer didn't levitate, so we're good to go. Uh, Amy will be pretty happy because that new Red Sonia title that just came out this week has uh, Red Sonia fully armored on the uh, on the cover, which uh, should make her very happy. For all of us uh, traditionalists, eh, it's it, it's an awesome cover. Uh, I would say though that uh, it's clear that Red Sonia didn't do arm day uh, for this one, but I'll let you guys judge for yourself. It's still an awesome cover, great book, and we have some exciting news about. Uh, Red Sonia, uh, which is, we are going to be doing a variant cover for the shop. Uh, I can't say any more about it at this point, but that variant cover, we will announce when it's available. We'll be taking pre-orders on it, but we are super excited about this. Uh, we are working with Dynamite Comics. Uh, the industry right now is making its comeback little by little. You've noticed the... Uh, Mr. Jeppy there at uh, Diamond Comics, uh, he has been uh, really pushing this back, the comeback. It, it is what it is. Uh, Alaska has been super supportive of small businesses. Uh, I appreciate what Diamond Comics has been attempting to do at the last minute. Uh, I appreciate that they're trying to help Figuring out finally that there is some competition out there for them and in the form of Midtown Comics and how important it is for them to look out for the comic book shops that are their backbone. Uh, if we fail, they fail. They're, nobody else is buying their books. So uh, their numbers are based off of our hard work. So it, we're a symbiotic uh, uh, existence here with them. Uh, we can't necessarily succeed without them. Although if you ask Chuck at uh, uh, Mile High Comics, he made a, a pretty interesting statement that uh, I would have to say comes from a solid authority, seeing that he owns the largest comic book shop in the world. He's one of the full, he's one of the only millionaires in this industry. And uh, he made it very clear that for comic book shops that are relying solely on new books, you're essentially an extension of the previews catalog. That's all you are. And if Diamond, or God forbid, a, uh, if they ever truly failed and went out of business, what are we going to do? If, if you haven't been fattening up your back issue bins, you're, you're pretty much screwed, which is why... Uh, We've made it a point to purchase collections. We tend to purchase large collections versus small ones because it's just a better deal for both parties involved. And uh, we got to keep that back issue bin uh, filled because 
kind of like that vinyls, uh, vinyl records uh, market. We want to be a little bit of that old school with the new school here. And I will say, although the uh, profit for the most part lies in the new books, our, by number of sales, our back issues typically outsell our new issues three to one at this shop. And I believe that that might be the national standard among the majority of the 2,900 shops that are still in existence. Uh, so we are really relying now on the back issues as much as we are on the new titles that keep people interested in this hobby. So we still have variant covers coming. We still have, uh, this week is, the majority is DC that came in with, like I said, some independents, some hard covers, got a bunch of posters in. Next week will be Marvel's week. Um, we, I don't believe I'm gonna be doing new book DC tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I know I'm not. I'm going to be doing new books on Wednesday as the tradition is, new book Wednesday, because logistically it's just a pain in the butt to try to get all that stuff into people's long, uh, into people's pull boxes and uh, to get them all set in the system and everything else. I just don't have enough turnaround time. That's why the industry voted on one day years ago, which was Wednesday, because uh, history is trying to repeat itself, and I hope that all of us as retailers will push back. I hope that uh, uh, Bosco's and uh, the comic shop in Fairbanks agree that uh, one day a week for new comic book day is a great model. It looks like they're trying, the industry, the publishers are all trying to revert back to the old way where every publisher put out a book on a different day. And that sounds great, but there's contractual limitations for us at the shop. So unless all of the publishers agree to do it on the same day, it puts everybody in a, it puts the shops in a unique predicament. I'll give you an example. If you come in tomorrow for that brand new um, action comics or that brand new Catwoman, DC is releasing their books on Tuesday, so you'd be good to go. But you know that I've got that brand new Wolverine behind the counter, but I can't sell it to you con contractually until Wednesday when the new books are released by Marvel and the other publishers. If you're one of my customers that comes in from Willow or from Big Lake, or from Anchorage, or from Kenai, or from Fairbanks, or from, I mean, you, you're coming in from some distance, it puts me in a situation where do I potentially risk violating my contract by selling you that book earlier than I'm allowed to so that uh, you don't have to make a second trip? Or do I just simply keep you on that same schedule of, hey, new books every Wednesday. And, you know, you got your pull box, your books will be waiting for you Wednesday and every day after that Wednesday, not an issue. But to uh, put us in a predicament where we have to now choose what books we're gonna release to you and what we're not gonna release to you because one publisher is struggling because of their lack of leadership. I mean, we, uh, uh, it's not something that I want to fall victim to anytime soon. Uh, it's hard enough right now. I would hate to uh, be forced or tricked into violating a contract and then suddenly I'm put in the penalty box for two or three months because a diamond won't uh, sell to me now because I violated the contract and sold books before I was supposed to. So uh, as of right now, it's new comic book Wednesday. If the industry changes as a whole, then we'll readjust and take a look at that. But for now, it's a, a new book. A, it's a new book Wednesday. Okay, real quick, watch this. <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat, but because of this damn coronavirus scared, everybody, I know that there's people out there right now, you're in these public events, 
you're at the store, you gotta cough, you gotta clear your throat, but you're scared shitless that somebody's gonna turn around and point at you because you're the jerk not wearing a mask or something else. Someone's gonna virtue signal and point you out because you coughed and now you're, you're a virus carrier or something. I, I could only imagine, and I'm here in a podcast, uh, doing this on YouTube, having a little mini panic attack of, hmm, if I clear my throat right now, is everyone going to be like, yo, this son of a bitch got that Rona? And that's not the case, I promise you. Clean bill of health right here, I promise. But yeah, it, it, it just came to mind that, uh, good Lord, can you imagine how many people are doing that right now as we speak? You might be watching this or listening to this right now, holding in your cough right now. It's okay. Go ahead and cough. Just cover your mouth or cough away from people. Be courteous. It's okay. You're going to be okay. The world didn't end because you cleared your throat. You're going to be all right. I promise. <clears throat> so, back to uh, the industry here. So, uh, um, with the new comic book Wednesday, that's it. For us right now, it's new books on Wednesday. Yes, I have the books physically in my possession right now. I am not going to uh, put the new books out tomorrow. I'll put them out on, uh, on Wednesday. It just makes things way easier logistically. Like I said, if all the publishers or the 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 majority of all the publishers decide to do a new new comic book day, i.e. Tuesday, then we'll do that. But right now, only one publisher is doing that right now. And I can't, uh, in good conscience, burn the other publishers because of that. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I would imagine the other shops are going to do the same unless, uh, once again, I, I don't know the financial status of all the shops. So... Uh, I can tell you right now that up here in Alaska, it, it would appear that everyone's doing okay. You've got uh, Bosco's and Anchorage that are killing it with their sales right now and their back issues. And uh, we've got uh, the comic shop. He's already announcing deals on uh, gaming and I believe on some uh, comics as well. And I am rooting for both of these guys. In the lower 48, perhaps we would be competitors and perhaps it would be an adversarial relationship. But up here, it is critical that we all succeed because the more shops that are functional up here for comics in the state of Alaska, the more power and bargaining we have with our sole distributor. If there's only one shop purchasing up here we don't become much of a priority to the shipping people at Diamond. But if there's multiple contracts making hundreds of thousands of dollars for Diamond on an annual basis between three shops, we tend to have more stroke, so to speak. And if per capita we're more successful than the lower 48, that tends to send a good solid message of solidarity and of, uh, hey, uh, we're just as important to ship to as the guys in California or the guys in New York or the guys in Texas or the guys in Kansas. So I am 100% supportive of Bosco's and the comic shop being as successful as they possibly can because it definitely helps us, and I believe that we help them as well. Uh, if I don't have something, I refer customers to, to those shops. And I certainly hope that they're doing the same with me because we all are one team when it comes to this hobby because this hobby is a hobby that is making a comeback. Uh, it's definitely doing much better than it was uh, several years ago when they were announcing the demise of uh, comic book, printed comic books due to uh, the introduction of digital. And 
uh, a good sign of that right now is Marvel Comics announced that they're no longer, uh, uh, or they're going to be discontinuing their digital portion. I think they're just going to allow Comixology and stuff to run all that, but they're, in the, they're getting out of that game. The print is where the fans are right now because you cannot take your iPad to Donny Cates to get signed. That's not a thing. But you can come to our shop, pick up that copy of Absolute Carnage number five, Codex variant, or the local comic shop day variant, and get that signed by Donny Cates. And get a significant return on that investment. You're not going to be able to take your desktop or your laptop or your iPhone over to Donny Cates, get that digital copy signed, and it be worth anything. So uh, the hobby as a whole is in a great place right now. We're making our comeback, especially thanks to, our, in our case, our Patreon. Our Patreon is helping us slowly but surely uh, stay in this race, especially with the raised shipments, right? Now, the rise in shipment costs. Also, the, uh, um, the, with the, uh, in our case, we want to be able to hire staff here. And our, one of our uh, midterm goals with Patreon is to raise enough money to be able to hire staff here. And uh, we want to keep this place staffed with local Alaskans. So that is one of our uh, midterm goals. And we are looking forward to that. We're also looking forward to hosting signings in our shop. And that is thanks to you guys out there, whether you're donating a dollar or you're uh, donating $50 uh, to our virtual tip jar, so to speak. Uh, we really appreciate you. Now, granted, it's not a handout because we uh, make special uh, we make special values uh, and discounts available to our Patreon, and we make sure that we keep things like this going, this YouTube channel and this podcast, uh, keeping you guys entertained and uh, in the loop on what's going on in the industry. So we appreciate you guys. We appreciate the fact that you guys are willing to do that for us. So with that being said, uh, we are moving forward. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am filming this in our speakeasy that we've been able to uh, keep going thanks to you, the customers, you guys that are watching this right now. Uh, YouTube, I would love to have my 1,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube sometime soon. We'll do a giveaway. I'll give away a graded book when that happens. But right now, uh, uh, we're not monetized on YouTube. Uh, what we receive uh, from you guys is you guys coming into the shop and you guys sharing this with your friends and family and your fellow geeks uh, that want to come and learn about this hobby and come purchase their first comic book potentially right here. Uh, get your back issue, uh, get your back issue hunting on over here. Uh, use your key collector app. Remember, key collector app. Right now, enter promo code A E G I S Aegis, and you will get one week free with uh, your uh, uh, subscription to Key Collector. So make sure you check that out. And we're big proponents of Key Collector. Uh, we also recommend that if uh, you're trying to keep track of your personal collection, use CLZ, the CLZ app. We receive no money from either of the two, but we benefit from it because now you know what to hunt for, and hopefully we got that in the back issue bins for you. So uh, we know a lot of you have picked up some significant keys at the shop, whether it's been that first appearance of Carnage or it's been that uh, Nova number no. one which right now in the 9.8 uh, sold for, I think it was over 800 bucks just recently. So uh, things are getting a little crazy right now with the collectibles. So we hope that we're helping you guys with your hunt and that you choose us to do that hunt with. Also, that anniversary shirt that we've been uh, pushing out, a majority of those proceeds go to the local artist, Matt Carr, He's an Army veteran, Gulf War vet, and we're supporting him and his, uh, his climb in the, in the comic art world. We know 
that uh, uh, he's going to be successful. If you keep seeing me glance to the left or to the right, in our little speakeasy room, we actually have a lot of his artwork posted here. I mean, hell, our logo is his artwork. We, we are super Matt Carr fans, and uh, if you haven't met him yet, there's always a chance you're going to see him here at the shop uh, doing his artwork or something else. Just remember when you come down to the shop, uh, use our hand sanitizer, maintain social distance of six feet, and uh, have a fun, healthy time at the shop. We have plenty of square footage where uh, uh, people should be able to maintain that square footage uh, or that distance from each other. And we're following all of the governor's guidelines. So come on down and enjoy a safe, uh, a safe uh, shopping experience for this hobby. As always, we know that you have your choices. We appreciate you choosing us. If you can't make it to the shop because you're not feeling good, you can always order online at www.agescomicsalaska.com. That's www.agescomicsalaska.com. And if you have your books that you want to get graded, just remember that we are the official drop-off and pickup for EGS, Expert Grading Service, and CBCS, which just announced their new census program. So... Either of those two is available at the shop. If you've got that autographed book, but you don't have a COA or it wasn't witnessed, bring it on down. We have the signature authentication program here at the shop that uh, we forwarded off to CBCS and EGS, and the signature doesn't have to be uh, witnessed. However, if we witness it at, let's say, Art at Comic Con, it's a... Uh, significantly discounted fee for that. I think it's uh, 10 bucks for EGS and 5 bucks for CBCS. I'll have to check here. But uh, definitely it's 10 bucks for EGS. And we are authorized to witness signatures as well here at the shop. If uh, you see us at Art of Comic Con at our booth and you're getting ready to get that book uh, signed off at uh, one of the visiting artists uh, or celebrities that are coming up for Art of Comic Con in October, just come over to the booth and grab one of us and we'll come and witness it for you and get that book uh, graded for you and shipped out the whole nine. You don't have to sit in line at the post office and uh, worry about catching the Rona at the office or sitting in that long or standing in that long line at the post office. We take care of all that for you. Just come down, down to the shop, drop off your books. We will have a drop off uh, set up at uh, Comic Con as well. We look forward to seeing you guys. You guys are always welcome. And we thank you. Very appreciative. If you want to support this podcast, just simply share it. Uh, let people know about us. If you want to give us a virtual tip, uh, our virtual tip jar is our Patreon. And our Patreon, uh, the link is below and is also in the show notes for the podcast. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Please comment, subscribe, share, do all that liking stuff, whatever you need to do. I just turned 50, so I, I, this tech stuff is, uh, I'm still learning it. Um, but I am taking advantage of this green screen. I haven't even decided at the point that I'm filming this right now, I haven't even decided what I'm going to throw behind me. So it'll be as much of a surprise for you as it will for me. So look forward to seeing your faces at the shop. Take care, stay in touch. Bye.